August 21st here today, and uh, it's Sunday. Dan and I were spending all day yesterday, and, and after church today, we're getting some stands hung, and we're going to put a baronet blind up right now, and uh, just trying to get everything ready for, for season. That's about you know, what, a, little, a little under a month away now, so it'll be here before we know it, and uh, just excited to get back on the woods. We just got done checking cameras here on opening day and uh, a lot more bucks moving around the area. Not anything big, but we hadn't had big pictures of hardly anything uh, this summer with, with horns anyway, so. But I uh, got some pictures of bucks, hoping that's a good sign of what's to come. But I did get a pretty nice uh, 10 pointer on camera, so I want to get a better look at them. Hopefully, uh, next couple days here, we got tonight and tomorrow to hunt and uh, weekend warriors for a while here. Just after 4.30, September 25th, just got settled in the stand here, and uh, the wind has really picked up here in the last half hour since I left the truck. Got in the stand about perfect tonight. This wind's going to cover any noise I might have made. So, this is a spot I've had a lot of good luck in the last few years. from the house 
and uh, Mom's been seeing a nice buck up the valley. Dad saw him about a week and a half ago. Got an absolute gorgeous morning here. Temperatures in the mid 30s right now, rising to up to 60 today. So, but I'm pumped to be in the woods this morning, November 4th. It's the prime time of the year. So, we're gonna sit back, pray that we get some action. There he is. There he is. I don't deserve him. I don't deserve him at all. I saw this buck. Oops, he's right here. He died 15 feet from 15 yards from the tree. We were sitting this morning. I said a prayer. I said, Jesus, just help, <clears throat> help me to keep my patience this year. So help me to keep my patience this year. This is the sport I love. About that time, Dad said, here comes a small deer. And it just, when Dad said that there was a box standing down here, a little, little dank box standing down here at the base of the boat, a sick deer down the field. And I looked across the field and this dude's down there tending the doe on the other side of the field. And, and then, <clears throat> thank you Jesus, that deer came right across the field, worked his way through Dad's cornfield up here. And I made a 35-ish yard shot, I ranged that other, that grass down there, that tall grass. And he's dead right there. I'm gonna say he's my one of my biggest bucks ever. I love you. <laughs> Good job. Nice to meet you. He just went down. He just went down. <laughs> Tickle pink with him. This is the buck. I'm, I know it's the buck that I saw bow hunting. He came out probably about a month ago um, and he wouldn't come in close enough. I considered shooting him then and came out tonight. I wasn't sure about him at first, but then kept watching through the binoculars and said, yeah, I gotta shoot this buck. He's, he's an older buck. He definitely, you can see the crown on his nose. He's definitely a mature deer, so. Um, I don't know how much he'd probably get heavier, not, probably not a lot more tine length than that, so he's actually a good buck to take out of the gene pool too. So, But I'm just tickled, tickled pink with him. I'm glad to get him and uh, thank the Lord for him.
Well, as you saw, we shot that door Action. Open. As you can see, we, uh... <laughs> Action. Caught.